Thailand has plenty of laws. Some of them applied more vigorously than others. Some, not at all. But the ones they do apply can get you into hot water, or at worst, into a Thai jail. You don't want to end up there. Here's a few of the better and lesser known Thai laws. Don't import, buy, sell or use illicit drugs in Thailand. Just don't. The penalties are severe, including the death penalty in the most draconian cases, although death penalties are routinely pardoned these days. Importation of a trafficable quantity of illicit drugs could end up in a lengthy prison sentence, and Thai prisons are not known for their comfort or opportunities for rehabilitation. If you're wrongly accused, sign nothing, contact your nation's embassy immediately and find a good lawyer. In the case of cannabis, although there are some highly politicised attempts at decriminalising personal use of cannabis, it's still considered a Class 1 illicit drug. But there are now government-sponsored cultivations and testing of cannabis products as the country moves towards a greater tolerance of the drug. Never to face any image of the Thai king or insult his majesty or members of the Thai royal family in any way. Despite the current discussions and protests over the role of the Thai monarch, as a foreigner you'd be warmly recommended to avoid the topic. Thailand has enforced in the past strict Les Majeste laws which provide severe penalties for anyone, Thai or foreigner, who insults his majesty or the royal family. While it may seem like an infringement of free speech to non-Thais, it's the law of the land and the penalties are real. Some people have even been sentenced in absentia for offences, real or otherwise, committed online and or in foreign media. You can still technically be arrested for treading on money, including coins or anything with the image of a member of the royal family. The legal drinking age in Thailand is 20. Don't be seen drinking with anyone under that age and be sure before you buy around. Sorry officer, I swear to God she told me she was 21. Isn't going to get you off the hook. It's still a legal requirement for all foreign nationals to carry their passports at all times. In actual practice, this is rarely an issue and generally a copy will suffice, but the copy must include not only the identification page, but also the latest visa and entry permit. If you are stopped by police at any time, they will usually want to check your visa status, so having your passport or a copy will save further delays. It's against the law in Thailand to go commando. It's actually illegal to go in public without wearing underwear in the kingdom. It's the law. More practically speaking, skimpy clothing is generally frowned upon, especially away from the tourist areas. Keep your shoulders covered and wear a long skirt or shorts, especially if you're visiting a temple or public building where it's a requirement of entry. Despite the working attire of staff in some of the country's bar zones and the various shows you might see, Thai culture is generally very conservative when it comes to dressing in public. That includes on the beaches, where topless bathing can end you up in a world of trouble. Not sure why you'd want to, but don't drive topless. It's against the law to drive an automobile in Thailand without wearing a shirt, whether you're a man or a woman. It's unclear whether the regulation applies to motorcyclists, but the tiger recommends playing it safe. Really, no one wants to see your torso unless you're under 30 or a supermodel, and you'll want a few layers between the road and your skin if you fall off. It's illegal to remove Buddha statues or images from Thailand without a permit. You can be fined or even arrested and jailed if you stick a Buddha image or statue in your luggage to take home. It's also considered bad taste by devout Buddhists to adorn your house and garden with images and statues of Buddha. Driving down a few back streets of any Thai village, you may not believe it, but it's illegal to litter in Thailand. 
As a foreign guest, don't litter, especially throwing anything on the ground, including chewing gum. The Tigers heard reports that Thai police, perhaps inspired by Singapore's draconian laws, particularly enjoy fining those who spit out chewing gum for fines of up to 10,000 baht. Please dispose of your rubbish, trash or garbage, whatever you call it, in a bin. That's of course if you can find one. Don't overstay your visa. Just don't. As a foreigner, you can be stopped and interrogated at any time by Thai or immigration police, and you must be able to show your current visa status. If you have overstayed your visa, even by just a few hours, you can be detained and heavily fined. If you're leaving Thailand and it's discovered you've overstayed your visa, you'll be fined 500 baht for each day you've overstayed. The Immigration Detention Centre in Bangkok is not known for its pleasant surroundings. Do yourself a favour and keep on top of your visa status and take the visa rules seriously. Thailand has a vague Playing Cards Act, which says you can't be seen with more than 120 playing cards. Although a deck's only got 52, it might not be worth the hassle of being caught playing cards in public or any other gambling for that matter. Ties, despite the laws, love having a gamble, but you're best just keeping away from their gambling haunts and stick to a game of Twister or Netflix. Do you know of any other strange or lesser known Thai laws? Tell us in the comments section below. And while you're there, please subscribe to the Tiger YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.